Hmm? As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Well, I can do that. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Ah! These damn ducks shot back. shot like that, like me dodging it and me shooting at the same time, that was where I was hoping to be. Hey, I'm shooting the TNT and I'm rising it. That, dear children, is why you do not stand next to TNT. How are these still? Hmm. Nope. Quantity in this case is better. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in? Guns a blazing to help? Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. Uh, as usual. Who the hell is that? that He's out of his mind! Take cover! Stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail.
killed me where it last then. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? Some nobody. The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. He was the fourth guy in command, okay? He should have said that. Very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. 69% uh, shooting. I'm getting better. I'm getting better.